Okay, this is has to, uh, I found this interesting article I wanted to talk about. Now, this is, has to do with primarily the large screen Android phones, and a little bit has to do with some of the Apple iPhones as well. Uh, a lot of people are saying that, you know, the iPhone really needs to have larger screen sizes um, to be more competitive with the market. But uh, what we're seeing now, the way people use their devices, um, it's still a kind of a niche group. And uh, this is based on the web traffic being analyzed. And uh, we're only seeing about 10% of the Android users using large screen phone sizes. And so basically 80% are uh, devices fit into the normal size range comparable what the iPhone 5 is, which is around uh, 4.5 more or less. Um, so we're still not really seeing a lot of people using, you know, very large ones. Cause, um, of course now they call them, uh, uh, even, f uh, phablets, which are like going almost into the tablet realm as well. And I think a reason why the Apple kind of wants to avoid this, um, because, uh, well, for one thing, they want to be able to use the person to use it with one hand. Uh, if they're carrying something in the other hand and particularly and fragmentation is also another problem Apple is trying to avoid as well Because uh, you start putting out larger sizes you're gonna have to, um, Third-party developers to make their apps to to fit they're gonna have to come out with multiple um, versions of the same app and uh, Now when Apple came out with the iPad mini um, they come out with a resolution um, screen ratio where all the existing apps uh, uh, for like the iPhone uh, regular size iPad will automatically scale up and work perfectly. And so I think that's another reason why they don't want to go um, multiple screen sizes.